everybody welcome back to another weekly vlog so I am starting the vlog in the middle of the week again because it honestly makes my life so much easier so today I have been working early here this morning finished work at around quarter to 11 we went home and I'm basically here now yeah so basically me and Scott got home from Croatia the Sunday just gone so I went straight to work and he he went to work yesterday, which is Tuesday. Um, so it's basically straight back into the routine of reality again. And honestly, I did not miss going to work. It was honestly lovely to just like be able to relax and not have any worries or cares in the world. Obviously, with our businesses, we do get very stressed. So it was very nice to just kind of relax a little bit and not have to worry about anything. But yeah, anyway, I actually had a super drug parcel arrive because... I ordered a few makeup bits for the business and maybe one bit is going to be for myself but I don't know but yeah and I actually ordered you know, this parcel yesterday morning and it has arrived this morning which is really good so of course I will show you what is in the parcel it's only a small parcel but it's exciting for you guys to kind of see what it is so basically I ordered three bits, I ordered two primers and a setting spray, so I actually ordered the L'Oreal Infallible Primer. I think I've had this before, maybe my sister has had this before, but I've definitely tried it and I liked it, and this was 9 .99. Also, please excuse my awful nails at the moment. I did have some fake nails off the holiday, but I took them all off yesterday because they were putting off my nails. So now, you need kind of clipped and like filed down to shape, and then I also got a Maybelline baby skin because I have not had this for years. I do suffer with really like I do suffer with really big blackheads and this primer is perfect for basically blurring them away. And then finally my X or NYX whatever you call it uh, setting spray in the dewy finish the one so that is very good and this it was I don't know maybe six or seven pounds altogether and this was like eight ninety nine I believe yeah so that's like my little drug parcel also, whilst I was away on holiday as well, I did treat myself to the most gorgeous necklace. If you have been keeping up with the Croatia vlogs, you would have seen it already, but if you haven't, I will show you it now. Also, can you guys notice how I do have a bit of gradual tan on my face? I put the Garnier summer body on my face last night because I just fancied a bit of colour. I don't know if this camera maybe don't pick it up as well, but I do feel very kind of bronze on the face. It, it, not too bronze, obviously. Also... I have been using uh, this gorgeous P. Louise texture treatment uh, cleanser and honestly it, my skin has never felt and it looked as good for ages so I'm happy with that. Yeah but basically I'll just show you the necklace and it, one other thing that I've got on holiday as well. But yes if you've ever heard of the brand Van Cleef or Van Cleef, I'm not sure how you say it, it is a very well known brand for their kind of clover style jewellery if that makes sense if you follow molly may you'll probably know what i'm on about because she's got the bracelet on so she's sourcing in i decided to get the necklace version of the bracelet and honestly it's actually stunning it won't be proper van cleef but like it was from a jeweler's and it was quite pricey but it's so stunning so i am going to show you what it is because i love it i've only had it on once or twice but i'll definitely get my use out of it because it was a very good purchase and I'm very happy so it is the green clover necklace and it's like the rose gold kind of detailing as well I'll show you that it's so pretty and it's not too big or not too small but I did actually try on the kind of pearly white version but this one definitely suited me better because I like my green eyes as well but yes yeah, so that was £89 which isn't like too too pricey but it's enough and it is really good quality and it is sterling silver but kind of like the gold plated thing but in my Vivian Westwood jewellery it's sterling silver but gold plated and like the colour has never come off thank god so yeah I'll have this also in duty free of course it is a ritual for me to treat myself to a new perfume on holiday but I've got the Chloe perfume it is Eau de Toilette I think it's the the rose tangerine one. I actually smell a test of the perfume and oh my god it smells incredible and yeah, people always go on about like the Chloe perfumes but I've never had one before. I have like other brands like YSL, Muggler, um, 
to Marc Jacobs, but I've never had a Chloe perfume before, but oh my god, it's so cute. It is a 30ml and this was £50, so I don't think too badly priced for the price again, but I'll just take it out of the box. See, look how cute this little bottle is. It's so nice. It is so, so, so cute. I love it. Hey, look who's come to join me. Now he came at like around 3 o'clock, I'd say. Uh, yeah, but basically, we were thinking of going on a walk, but the weather was really bad and like we just started chilling and stuff. Anyway, um, if you guys maybe remember, I might have told you guys in a vlog, but basically, I bought some Burberry boots, like a Burberry rain boots or whatever it is, whatever you want to call them, and like, they've never been worn and stuff, size three and I've I've actually I've actually sent in an application for them to be like a bought and sold from um it looks collective if you ever heard of it it's like a designer reseller and they buy your designer items and sell them on um and these are the boots so I'll show you them very nice I don't like this ring light has to make it go really green but they're like a lovely kind of grey colour size three a few minor marks on them but like they haven't been worn before they are genuine before people ask because obviously like a lot of people know me for like my sorry a designer dupe hauls which i understand but yeah it genuine comes with like the box and everything honestly it's actually huge isn't it yeah they're preparing our tea now so we've got the veg on the go we've got the chicken in there and we've actually been uh, cheating a little bit and they use one of those pasta and sauces. Oh, sorry, you did. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, and Scott actually banged his head on here. No, when you banged it. I had this open and he was getting a pan out of here, and when he got up, it, oh, he hit his head on here. Oh, yeah. Up. I don't like, yeah. I think you did that on purpose. No, I did that on purpose. Don't worry, yeah. Oh, Chef Scott in the building. Chef Scott is in the building. Here's our tea for the no, night. Okay. Uh, no thanks. I don't think it's too bad for like team effort. Uh, pasta and sauce, veg prepped by Scott. Uh, pasta prepped by me and chicken was kind of prepped by both of us. Mm. Yeah. Hey, team effort, high five. It's starving, Marvin. Rap! Oh. <laughs> I was trying to get in here with that field. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, it is now Tuesday, so, uh, not Tuesday, a Thursday, what am I going on about? Um, you can never tell how tired I am today because I've been working early again, however, I had a nice surprise when I got back home because I had a couple of makeup parcels arrive. So yeah, this week has just been me ordering bits and bobs for this weekend because I do have quite a busy weekend at the salon. Um, and also on Sunday I am actually going to a christening so like it's one of my cousin's uh, children so I, I basically just call them yeah, my second cousins but I have quite a big family so when there's family events and stuff on there is a lot of us who attend them so yeah so I've just been getting prepped for the christening I wax my underarms, how exciting, and my legs because those are the type of things I can kind of wax a few days before. I apologise for the ambulance going past my house as well. I'll just wait. Just wait a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Story of my life, ambulance is going past my house 24-7, but yeah, basically. But yes, I've just been getting prepped for the christening. I won't be putting any nails on, as ugly as they are. Um, I was just kind of bothered. Oh, my natural nails have actually been getting really long. If that'll focus. Wait a minute. Can you see that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, but anyway, I'll show you the makeup bit and then I will show you what I am thinking of wearing to the christening as well. Because I have two options. It is two of my holiday dresses, but I'm undecided. But I'm going to show you what has arrived because I am excited, like extremely excited because it, these type of things. I've been wanting it for a makeup kit for a very long time, so now that I've got them, I do feel really like professional now. On as foundations, and I have a few kind of top ups of peaches and cream stuff, yeah, because 
I love peaches and cream. It's very affordable. I've got a glitter glue, a glitter base. I've got a new gloss in honey because it's actually running out. I actually use this at the moment and it's one of my favourite shades. It's beautiful. And then a cream, a cream bronzer and a, a powder bronzer. So I've got a powder in medium dark, I think it is. And then a, a cream contour in dark, I think it is. Let's have a look. Shade 2. And then I have four NARS foundations. I actually have one of the Sheer Glow ones, which I've never tried on myself, but I've actually got three of the uh, Radiant foundations because I actually have this uh, type of foundation for myself and it is really good. But look how sleek the packaging is. So I've got them in the shade Salzburg. Um, what's this one? In Mont Blanc, a Stromboli, which is a very popular shade I've heard, and also what's that one called? Fiji. So, yeah, so I'm stocked up, I feel very happy. Obviously, my tight lashes have arrived as well yesterday, so I'm all stocked up for the week. I've also been booking uh, people in because uh, so many people have been booking in today, which is good. So, yeah, I'm very excited because it's definitely slowly starting to pick up in the salon now, which is really good. I've just finished filming one video, guys, and in my camera battery is actually about to die so yeah uh, yeah but basically i finished filming so i have a lot of stuff to clean up now like a lot of stuff oh yeah by the way i still have all this kind of chocolate to eat oh yeah and me and scott actually got this in croatia and it doesn't taste too bad it actually isn't as nice as we thought it was gonna be which is a shame but yeah all that stuff i still have this tea as well I do fancy some more teasers mine, so I might have some more teasers. As a snack before I actually go and film another few videos. Right, so where do I even begin? So basically, I've not really been vlogging this week, but um, I've basically been curled my hair because I am going to the christening today. I do have a top on for you guys asking. I'm wondering why I won't be naked in front of the a window. <laughs> I have this bandeau top on. I basically fake tanned last night because I hate being pale. There's nothing wrong with being pale, of course, but I just wanted something on my body, so I just used the Doll Beauty Tan. It looks really pale on this camera, but trust me, it is a bit darker, but not too, like, dark. Um, maybe I started a pink on my hair. I will do my makeup in around half an hour, just because my skin it's really oily and if I do my makeup too early it'll start to shine like in the middle of the day so I just need to kind and stop and like and leave it until a bit later on but yeah so I woke up at around like eight o'clock Scott is here however he has gone to Booker's because he needs to get some pick and mix sweets uh, for his pick and mixes which we're making tomorrow so like he's been getting like ahead but basically work this week has been so busy like really busy um and then afterwards like yesterday me and scott we decided to walk into town because like it was such a lovely day and he needed to find some suit pants we tried tk maxx all too big and didn't suit him primark were like too big or too small and then river island was actually the place where like we found some and a lovely light sage green color um they're more expensive oh my god crocky voice more expensive but really good quality um so i'll show you them and like he's got his tie sorted and stuff as well, but like he's gonna be wearing a white shirt and like a sage green tie. But look at this. This is the colour. It look like it looks like dark in real life, but these were from River Island. Honestly, River Island's actually really good for like suits and stuff. They had like baby blue ones, I had like all sorts of different colours, but these were really nice and really suited them. Oh yeah, dirty fake tan mitt, it needs cleaned, but yeah. It's my outfit of the day. <laughs> I look really dark now, but I'm not. Yeah, so I've just got my PJ bottoms on. And it's my little station here, just because like, I've, I've obviously do, I do my hair. I also painted my toenails last night. Pink, but I think I'm actually going to paint my fingernails, because I want to have a bit of colour on. And I, do have, I do have half an hour to burn, so... I might as well just do that. You guys, we're both basically ready. I just need to put some lipstick on, hence why I have the foundation lips. But we're both getting ready. So Scott has got his new outfit on. He's got like, his new tie, his new uh, trousers on. And I have got my old poly dress on, which I had on for holiday. But like, I only had on for a few hours. So 
It's fine. I like it. It's a little girl's frizzing in. It's like it's pink and cute. I'm going to go and put my shoes on down. Okay, no problem. And I've got everything up and I? Oh, yeah. So For that outfit of the day before I put my lipstick on, I have on... Right, so let's turn this around. Oh, oh poly dress. The Louboutin heels. The red sole. A uh, Balenciaga bag and then I'll be sneezing my lips. So yes, we're all ready to go pretty much. Guess where we are? <laughs> back home again at PJs after like five hours or so because basically like we went back to my cousin's house afterwards like for drinking buffet and like oh, oh my god, buffet food was so good, wasn't it? Mm. The cake was shy though, wasn't it? Oh. Sorry. Oh my god, everybody loved the cake. I didn't mean to swear. Everybody absolutely loved the cake. But oh my god, this hair is actually stayed in. And it's because I back comb my hair. And it actually works kind of help it stay in place more. Yeah, but I'm in my PJs now just because I just want to stay comfortable and Scott's seen like his joggers and stuff. <laughs> he was the first thing we did when we Yeah, no, he will be staying here tonight. But yeah, I just can't wait to like chill now. Have a couple of glasses of wine and then a couple of Pepsi Maxes. That's me done for the day. How many have I had? Three amp stools and two or three glasses of wine. No way. Oh my god, you little pea head. And what, three glasses of wine? What was that wine? I have to message Laura and ask her. What's it called? A Vena Sol or something? Yeah. And I had the Pinot Gris show, but. Your belly button stinks. Oh, I can't help it because I haven't had your belly button. And what was it called? I clean it all the time, so. Vino Sol. Oh yeah, if I was posted on my story as well. It's gonna make you sure you follow my Instagram. Pictures. Everyone who goes to a christening gets pick like these nice pictures. And I know, people. yeah. Yeah, Torres Venus song. Really. Seven fifty, six fifty. Ain't too bad, really. Ain't too bad. Oh jeez, I look alright, state. Always do have to work though, don't you? I've been working five hours today, so not too long really. But I've come home, of course. I jump straight into my PJs because who else would do that? Like, yeah, the best thing to do. And I'm having some uh, strawberry milk and chocolate as well. I've got this on holiday, and the first time I tried this, I wasn't really keen on it. But I think because I'm really hungry after work, this is like the best thing ever. But like, it is really sickly. Like, it's got all that strawberry stuff inside. But I mean, it is really good. It is a really good. Yeah, but that's a bit. Uh, Daddy's basically making us chicken lasagna tonight, so I'm so hungry. I can't wait for that. Yeah, but anyway, I am going to be ending this week's vlog here because it is Monday. Another Croatia vlog will be going up uh, today, like the final Croatia vlog. That's very sad but exciting as well at the same time. You guys have been enjoying the Croatia vlogs. But if you guys have enjoyed this vlog, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below, also subscribe, and I will see you all. It messed with yours. Bye everyone.